everyone welcome to orient tutorials on mechanics of fluids so in this video lecture i would like to uh, discuss about youtube manometer which is one of the types of a uh, simple manometers so here uh, youtube manometer consists of mainly a glass tube which is bent in u shape so in a shape of u a youtube manometer is provided so that's why the name is given as youtube manometer and this youtube manometer consists of heavy liquid uh, which we can consider as a mercury so this liquid should be heavy from the liquid for which we need to find out the pressure so basically the application of the manometer is to find the pressure so for whatever the liquid we are going to find out the pressure so that uh, liquid should be lighter than the liquid which is present in the youtube manometer so this is the heavy liquid basically we take the mercury as a heavy liquid and this youtube manometer is connected to a pipe at a particular point where we need to find out the pressure inside the pipe so at whatever the point we need to find out the pressure in a horizontal or vertical pipe so at that position we need to connect the youtube manometer so whenever you connect the flow of the water takes place into the left limb and according to the pressure inside the pipe it can apply the pressure force over the heavy liquid which is present in the youtube manometer so due to this certain unba unbalancing of the liquid level that is the heavy liquid takes place inside the youtube manometer and this level reaches a constant position whenever it uh, reaches the equilibrium condition so what do you mean by equilibrium condition here the equilibrium condition means uh, the pressure inside the left limb when becomes equal to the pressure inside the right limb then the constant level is obtained in the youtube manometer for the heavy liquid so according to the equilibrium condition of the pressure forces inside the two limbs the constant levels we get in the youtube manometer so by observing the levels of the liquid in left and right limb we can find out the pressure inside a pipe at this particular point so for that we have to take a datum line so here uh, i have represented the pa so this is the pressure pa we need to find out at this particular point and next uh, we have to take a datum line with respect to which we need to find out the pressure at a point A. So assume this datum line as A and from this datum line we need to know what are the heights of the liquids are taken place inside this left limb and right limb. So for that I want to assume the left limb height of the liquid from the datum line as H1 and next in the right limb I would like to assume it as a H2 that is the heavy liquid height in the right limb. Okay. So with the help of the height values we can add the pressure uh, formula in the right limb and left limb with the help of the hydrostatic law already we have discussed. So whatever I said according to the equilibrium condition only we got these constant levels in left and right limb. So here when it reaches the sentence I have given as when it reaches the equilibrium position then constant level we can observe in the right limb. Okay so based upon the equilibrium condition only we got these constant levels in left and right. So now we go for the exact derivation of the formula for finding the pressure inside the pipe. So whatever we said according to the equilibrium condition the total pressure acting inside the left limb should be equal to the total pressure acting inside the right limb. So whenever you consider the left side of the limb then here we can see the two pressures one is pressure already acting inside the pipe and another one is the pressure due to the liquid present in the left limb that is the left glass tube. Okay, so the sum of these two pressure becomes the total pressure acting in the left limb. Okay, from pipe to the the left limb, which is of height h1. So now I would like to show you whatever the nomenclature, whatever the elements, uh, the names I have given for the heights of the liquid and the pressure at a pipe in a pipe A. So for that I would like to show you the terms as assume pressure at in the pipe pressure in the pipe at any point A as PA this is not at try to consider it as a pressure in the pipe at a point A which is we can write it as already we have represented on the diagram that is as PA next thing the density of the liquid in the pipe as I want to assume it as rho 1 rho 1 is the density of the liquid which is present in the pipe which is the light liquid and next I would like to again mention the height of the liquid in the left limb as h1 already we have represented on the diagram and next we can write the density of the heavy liquid which is present in the youtube manometer that is uh, we can assume it as rho 2 and again the height of the liquid which is present in the youtube manometer 
after equilibrium position that is equal to already we have assumed as h2 and next according to the equilibrium condition we can say that whatever the total pressure in left limb can be equal to the total pressure in right limb so the total pressure in left limb how can we write it as the sum of the pressure acting at a and the pressure of the liquid which is present in left limb so that that can be written as pa plus from the hydrostatic law we can write it as rho g h the formula which we can use for finding the pressure at a particular height from the datum position for the liquid present so that we can write it as rho 1 g h 1 for the liquid which is uh, uh, coming from the pipe okay so for that liquid we have assumed the density as rho 1 so with the help of rho 1 and h 1 we can add the pressure formula as rho 1 g h 1 and that should be equal to the total pressure in right limb and in the right limb the pressure is only due to the heavy liquid which is present in the right limb so that can be written as again with the help of hydrostatic law it can be written as rho 2 g h2 that is the specific weight here the rho 1 g and rho 2 g both are specific weights from the hydrostatic law specific weight into h will give you the pressure at a particular height okay so this is the equation we can write according to the equilibrium condition of the liquid levels present in the left limb and right limb and next we have to find the required pressure at a point a so that pa can be written as is equal to rho 2 g h 2 minus rho 1 g h 1 so this is the required equation by which we can find out the pressure acting in a pipe a so this is again a gauge pressure which is more than the uh, which is uh, more than the atmospheric pressure and causes the including the uh, air pressure which is already acting on the liquid here okay next we can also find the vacuum pressure also so my same youtube manometer we can use for finding the vacuum pressure vacuum pressure means here the pressure inside the pipe is less than the atmospheric pressure here so when the pressure in the pipe is less than atmospheric pressure then the water will be sucked into the pipe then the fall in the right limb fall of the heavy liquid takes place in the right limb and the rise of the heavy liquid takes place in the left limb so according to that the water the heavy liquid tries to enter into this pipe then automatically the various levels we can observe here the fall and here the rise we can observe due to the vacuum pressure that is negative pressure so again we need to assume a datum line so from the datum line again we have to represent the height of the liquid which is h1 related to the liquid from the pipe and h2 is the height of the heavy liquid which is already present in the youtube manometer here so by using the same nomenclature we can again find the pressure at a point a which is negative so again the statement we can give same statement when it reaches the equilibrium position then constant levels we can observe in the right limb so according to the equilibrium condition only after falling the liquid in the right limb we can observe the constant level in the right limb okay so next we can write again uh, according to the equilibrium condition the total pressure in left limb should be equal to the total pressure in right limb okay here directly we can say that there is no height in the right limb so the total pressure in the right limb can be equal to zero then the total pressure in the left limb should be becoming equal to zero okay so here we can write it as pa plus uh, for the height of h1 we can write the pressure in the left limb as rho 1 g h1 plus uh, and again for the height of h2 of heavy liquid rho 2 g h2 we can write it as for the pressure and that should be equal to zero so why you are writing two pressure equations related to the two liquids means the light liquid can apply a different uh, uh, amount of the pressure and similarly uh, the heavy liquid can apply different amount of the pressure amount of the pressure so for that sake we need to write the pressures for the light liquid and the heavy liquid so then for finding the pressure acting inside the pipe which is the negative pressure vacuum pressure here so that vacuum pressure can be written as pa is equal to minus of that means we have to take these two terms to the right side when you take the positive two positive terms to the right side automatically these two becomes negative then we can write it as minus of rho 1 g h 1 plus rho 2 g h 2 okay this is the required equation by which we can find out the vacuum pressure okay so that means here a simple youtube manometer can be used for finding the gauge pressure and as well as vacuum pressure so the gauge pressure means uh, uh, it is a 
प्रेजर विच इज मोर देन द एटमोस्फेरिक एंड विच कंसिस्ट ऑफ इंक्लूडिंग द एयर प्रेजर दैट इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेजर एंड सिमिलरली वैक्यूम प्रेजर मीन इट इज ए नेगेटिव प्रेजर विच इज लेस देन द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेजर विच कॉजेज द सकिंग ऑफ द अदर लिक्विड इन टू इट्स पाइप ओके सो दिस इज द वे ऑफ फाइंडिंग द प्रेजर इन साइड ए पाइप एदर इट मे बी गेज प्रेजर और वैक्यूम प्रेजर विद द हेल्प ऑफ सिंपल यूट्यूब मैनोमीटर सो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो you can find the problem related to the simple youtube manometer so once you solve a problem you can easily understand and you can apply this knowledge to any kind of the simple youtube manometer to find the pressure in a particular pipe so i hope you understand this simple explanation if you have still any doubts please feel free to give a comment to my video so that i'll try to clarify your doubts and once again thanks for watching my video thank you all if you are still not subscribe to my channel please subscribe and share with your friends and and keep on visiting my channel thank you all